given the current situation, like many, you're probably looking to maximize your vacation funds for your next cruise. There's one simple thing you can do when booking your next cruise that's guaranteed to save you money. We share this insider tip, plus the pros and cons of this approach, up next. Welcome aboard, cruisers. I'm Don B from Eat Sleep Cruise. Now, you don't need some crazy tricks or insider hacks to save money on your next cruise. In fact, the easiest way to save money, regardless of the cruise line, is to book a guaranteed cabin. Now, if you're new to cruising, you may not know what a guaranteed cabin is. So don't worry, we're gonna explain everything in this video. Plus, we're gonna walk you through what the benefits are of booking this category type, plus also some of the drawbacks. Now, unlike hotels, when booking your cruise cabin, many cruise lines offer you the option of actually picking your exact stateroom, location, deck, and place on the ship, or they offer you the option of booking what's typically referred to as a guaranteed cabin. In the past, we used to spend hours reviewing deck plans to determine the optimal cabin locations for some of our trips. However, when you book a guaranteed cabin, you're selecting a category type whether it's an inside room, balcony, or suite, although you're not selecting the precise cabin number and location. Now, some cruise lines have different names for this. Some cruise lines call them sail away cabins. Other cruise lines might say, let us select the cabin for you, or other cruise lines might just say best rate. Regardless of the language, when you select this option, the cruise line is gonna auto assign you a cabin in that particular cabin category. And usually you actually don't even find out where on the ship your cabin's located until a few weeks prior to your sailing. So why would you opt for this option? Well, that's a great question. There are actually several benefits, but to be 100% honest, there are also some cons. And while we usually opt for a guaranteed cabin on a trip, we do not always select this option. And later in this video, we'll discuss when it might not make sense for you to opt for a guaranteed cabin. Now, of course, the biggest benefit of booking a guaranteed cabin is that you're going to get the lowest fare for your cruise. If you see the headlines or advertisements raving about low prices, like $99 a person for a three-day cruise or seven-day cruises starting at $699, those seem like great deals. However, those offers are almost always on a guaranteed cabin for the lowest category on a ship which is usually an inside or interior room. So if you book one of those options, this usually means you'll be assigned one of those inside cabins on one of the lowest decks of the ship. And regardless of cruise line or cruise ship, when you do select one of these sail away rates or let the cruise line pick the stateroom for you, you also tend to get the smallest cabins. But these accommodations may still offer enough space options to fit all four members of your family. Since the cruise restart, we have seen prices rising across the board for all cruise lines and cruise ships. So when you stumble upon some of these extremely low prices, we know they can be very tempting. So if you're looking to spend as little money as possible, then opting for one of these guaranteed cabins is perfect for your next trip. And even though you're looking to save money, we get it. Not everyone's looking to spend seven days in a closet with no windows. So another benefit of staying in a guaranteed stateroom is that you don't necessarily have to opt for an inside. Many cruise lines offer this fair option on categories like ocean view or balcony staterooms. Opting for a guaranteed rate can also lock in a really low cruise fare for other stateroom categories like junior suites, suites, or you might even be able to find a deal on some of those ship within a ship staterooms like the retreat on celebrity cruises. Of course, this does vary from cruise ship to sailing. So when reviewing all the fare options, look to see if a guaranteed rate is going to be offered for the type of cabin you're interested in booking. This is where you need to read the description carefully on the cruise line's website or ensure you're working with a travel advisor who's familiar with these different cruise fare rates. Because sometimes the cruise lines do not come right out and say that you're booking a guaranteed cabin, especially for some of those more expensive cabin categories. They might have language, as you mentioned, that says, let us pick your room or choose a room for me. And if you don't elect for that option, you're probably going to see the price of that particular stateroom category skyrocket. Now, before you put down a deposit, 
make sure you really are getting the lowest cruise fare. Simply compare the guaranteed cruise fare to the cruise fare you would get if you actually picked your own cabin. Most times, these guaranteed options are the cheapest. Occasionally, there could be sales or additional perks that make it more advantageous to actually book a different stateroom category. We literally just had a situation where we were investigating prices for Royal Caribbean's Oasis of the Seas. Our travel advisor had a group rate for what is known as a central park balcony that was actually cheaper than the lowest fare quoted by Royal Caribbean on their website. So opting for a better cabin category was actually cheaper than just going with the guaranteed rate on Royal Caribbean's website. So this does happen and why we always suggest comparing rates and talking to a few travel advisors before you spend any money. Another benefit of booking a guaranteed cabin is that you're able to combine those cabin rates with other perks and promotions. For instance, some cruise lines allow you to use loyalty status discounts and apply them to guaranteed cabins. Best of all, you still earn the same level of points or credits towards that cruise line's loyalty program even when you add these discounts and book a guaranteed cabin. Oftentimes, travel agents offer perks and promotions as well, such as free gratuities, onboard credit, or specialty restaurant credits. Cruisers usually need to book a stateroom in a certain category or higher, like an ocean view or balcony. So as long as you book a guaranteed cabin in one of those selected categories, you can still take advantage of the add-ons that the travel agent's offering you. We can speak from personal experience as we've definitely combined perks from a travel advisor with cruise line current promotions when booking a guaranteed stateroom. For instance, on a sailing on Freedom of the Seas, we booked a guaranteed balcony cabin with our preferred travel agent. The cruise line's current promotion was getting $100 of onboard credit when booking that category. So of course, we did get that perk, but then our travel agent also gave us a free specialty dinner and free gratuities when booking the guaranteed cabin. So with all those benefits, of course, we hopped on that deal, making that cruise one of the cheapest seven day Caribbean cruises we had had in a long time. If you're investigating different stateroom categories that maybe have special onboard benefits, do not worry. Another benefit of booking a guaranteed cabin is that you still get all the benefits of that particular class of stateroom. Several cruise ships offer special cabin categories that entitle those staying in the room to certain benefits. And those benefits do extend to individuals that book the lower guaranteed rate. For example, Celebrity Cruises offers the Aqua class. This balcony cabin comes with extra perks, including a private restaurant, unlimited access to the thermal suite, and other entitlements only available to cruisers in those designated cabins. Other cruise lines also offer similar cabins with special privileges to restaurants or certain decks and areas of the ship. So if you want to upgrade your typical cruise, but not overspend, look for a guaranteed cabin rate for one of these unique stateroom categories. Perhaps one of the biggest perks about booking a guaranteed cabin is that you always have the potential for upgrades. Once you select a guaranteed cabin, you are securing at least the lowest level room in that category. So again, if you do a guaranteed balcony, you're guaranteed to get at least a balcony cabin. And usually it might be an obstructed view, but you don't have to worry about them sticking you into like an inside room. Occasionally, the opposite is true that you actually get one of the higher tiered cabins in that particular category. We've opted for guaranteed balcony cabins before, and we have gotten aft view balconies. We've also gotten some of the larger rooms in this particular category. On a Royal Caribbean Navigator of the Seas cruise, we scored a midship spacious balcony cabin, which is at least four categories up from the lowest level balcony stateroom category on that ship. Likewise, with Disney Cruise Line, we booked a guaranteed balcony, and we were assigned an accessible balcony stateroom, which is much larger than your typical balcony stateroom on that ship. Of course, there's no guarantee that you'll be assigned one of those rooms. But another potential for you is to take advantage of your cruise lines upgrade program. Not all cruise lines offer this option. And even if your cruise line does offer an upgrade program, it doesn't necessarily mean it will be available on your particular sailing. But cruise lines like Celebrity Cruises and Norwegian Cruise Line, among others, 
do routinely offer cruisers the ability to bid on a better stateroom. Essentially, you receive an email letting you know that there are other stateroom categories above yours that are available and offer you the option to bid on them. Basically, it's like an auction. There are minimum bids that you need to put on a per person basis, but we've taken advantage of these programs several occasions to upgrade for as little as a few hundred dollars per person. For instance, we took advantage of this program with Norwegian Cruise Line and were able to upgrade from an inside cabin to a balcony cabin on an Alaska cruise for a fraction of the cost if we had opted just to purchase a guaranteed balcony cabin at the time we made the booking. So you're still eligible to get an upgrade if you have a guaranteed cabin. Now keep in mind, once your bid is accepted by the cruise line, you can't rescind it. So just ensure you're willing to pay whatever extra money you bid and you're willing to move into that cabin category because if the cruise line accepts it, they are going to put you in that type of stateroom. As we mentioned, there are several benefits to booking a guaranteed cabin, but it's not all rainbows and butterflies. There are actually some instances where it doesn't make sense to book a guaranteed cabin. And honestly, booking a guaranteed cabin might not be right for everyone. For example, individuals who want to ensure their cabin is in a particular location, whether it's a specific deck or part of the ship, this option's not for you. If you're an individual who might have accessibility issues and want to be close to an elevator, or perhaps want to be closer to the pool deck, or you want to ensure a midship location, again, this is not right for you. It is true that we've definitely received guaranteed staterooms that are far from the midship elevators. We've received rooms all the way forward and all the way aft. And listen, we're over planners, so we understand that some cruisers might feel anxious about not knowing their cabin assignment until right before the cruise. Another thing you might want to consider too, if you're prone to motion sickness, then you most likely want to pick your exact stateroom location as well. Oftentimes, guaranteed rooms can be very forward or very aft, as I mentioned, where you're more prone to feel the motion of the ship. Also, if you're traveling as a group and want to make sure you're all on the same deck, you should not opt for the guaranteed cabin option. Further, some cruise lines do not allow cruisers to book guaranteed cabins and take advantage of all the promotions. For instance, Norwegian Cruise Line offers extremely low priced guaranteed rooms. These are referred to as sailway prices. And believe us, they're amazing. But if you opt for one of these really cheap fares, you do not qualify for the free at sea promotion, which usually includes a drink package, specialty dining, or free shore excursions. In that instance, once you factor in the benefits of receiving these additional add-ons with a higher price cabin, it probably makes more sense to pick your stateroom and get those perks. If of course, you want to take advantage of them. And sadly, some cruise lines don't offer a traditional guaranteed cabin category. For instance, Disney Cruise Line does not always offer a guaranteed stateroom option for sailings. They do tend to offer it for newer ships or high demand itineraries, but don't be surprised if you go to book a Disney Cruise Line cruise and there is no option to book a guaranteed stateroom. For most sailings at the time of booking, the cruise line will require you to go through the entire process of selecting a deck and a specific stateroom before you can put down a deposit. Likewise, Virgin Voyages does something a little bit different. Its default option when booking a stateroom is to auto assign you a cabin at the time of booking. They say it's like a hotel, but if you go to Virgin Voyages website and you select say an insider or a sea terrace stateroom, when you go to check out, the cruise line will give you your stateroom location, but there's no way to change it. And on some sailings for some stateroom categories, they do offer what they call the lock it in rate. This is similar to a guaranteed rate in that the cruise fare is lower than the standard Virgin Voyages fare, and you're not assigned your cabin until closer to the sailing. Now you are guaranteed to get whatever level you select or higher, but there's further restrictions to this type of rate. The cruise line does not let you change or modify the sailing. So, just make sure you really want to go on that particular cruise if you opt for the lock it in rate with Virgin Voyages. Now that you know why getting a guaranteed cabin most likely is the best option for your next cruise, we need to find you the perfect ship. Well, lucky for you, Heidi and I have sailed on the nine newest cruise ships and we rate them for you right here on YouTube. Find out which ship had the best dining, best entertainment, 
best staterooms, and more. That way, your next cruise is smooth sailing.